Hey y'all. Oh, I don't got the rights to this music. I don't own the rights. I don't know the rights. I don't know nothing about the rights. It was always happy in Come on, her. Come on, bitch. Say that song. I'm just afraid you're going away. You know what I'm saying? I'm just afraid that I lost you. And for some of us, we lost that motherfucker. It was too deep. Hey, Google. Stop. That's the sun. It was a sun that came to me, and man, I done detoxed the fuck out of myself. I didn't. I, I didn't did some little return to cinder energy. Like here you go, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you sent, take it back. Uh, the power was out for three motherfucking days. Okay, three days. Three motherfucking days, and it's 2021. They had like. Side neighborhood set up to the same transformer. Detroit, do better. DTE, do better. Okay? Not only that, they don't let no other energy company come into Detroit. So, people don't have to just deal solely with DTE. DTE has yet to get that lock removed from around Detroit. No one has... no Nobody has came forth to compete with DTE. I don't know what kind of claws they got on this town, but it needs to be lifted. So while everybody is um passing out buffs and shit to the governor, it's time she really, really made some changes. Better yet, the mayor also made some changes around this bitch, Mr. Duggan. Fuck DTE. That nigga, they had seniors, children, and everybody. In the motherfucking dark for three motherfucking days. Man, I'm cussing. I'm cussing my ass off today because they out of pocket. Only to turn around and say they're going to give out tickets to the fucking zoo. And guess what zoo? It ain't the Detroit Zoo, which the Detroit Zoo is not in Detroit. Okay? The Detroit Zoo is not in Detroit. I want y'all to understand that. That's the fuckery. That's the manipulation. It's in fucking Royal Oak. And you cross over the 8 Mile and, and you, you driving wide black, you will get got. Okay? Then, uh, they, the, the, the zoo is in Battle Creek two hours away. The disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Then they said they might give a $25 credit, bitch. That's all you get. Then they turned around when I called. Because, you know, you had to pay for hotels and shit. They told me, we ain't giving you shit. Your shit wasn't off more than five days, so you basically, I should be grateful. Then they said they're going to give me a letter to take the DHS to compensate for my food. Bitch, give your mama a letter for her fucking food. I want the compensation for my motherfucking hotel. Shit. That was my plane ticket money. Right the fuck up out of here again. Goddamn motherfucking shit. Anyway, cancer, how y'all doing? You know what um that son that come to me with that song though? I think a lot of us had somebody that we really, really thought that we was gonna go down that path with. We was gonna enter into that union with and they didn't catch on. Or cancer, you didn't catch on to somebody. And they're, they're letting... It's a lot of letting go right now. It, it's hurt. It's burning. Tears are being dropped. But it's letting go and letting in. You're letting it go. Ooh, 444. Four, four. Letting go to let in somebody who's going to serve you some good. And then now you're solely on your self-love shit. On your self-love ass shit. Um... 
this person, I feel, hasn't let you out of their energy. They're holding on to your fucking energy. They're sending you messages through their energy, through energy, through dreams. They're sending messages, and whoever they're dealing with knows it. Somebody they're dealing with knows that they do not have a hold of their person because their person is still holding on to you. Okay? They, they're not able to get their person 100% because that person is still holding on to you. And for some of you, you're gone already. You're gone. You're to meet somebody else and you're off blossoming into this somebody else energy that you're with. You're with somebody else. You're dealing with somebody else. Somebody's making you laugh. Somebody's sending you messages. Somebody giving you kisses. You good right now, Cancer. We good. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all good. <sighs> Y'all might be on some saving shit, some relocating shit. Y'all on a lot of other shit right now. Y'all not interested in the bull crap no more. Somebody has let somebody go. A lot of us have let somebody go, but they're still spiritually holding on to us because they haven't let us go. Or I think they believe that they thought they were going to conquer us. They probably believe there's still a chance. that they, they have some type of belief that you're going to come back to them. And their ego is causing them to lose you forever. And some of you are probably not even interested in this person no more. Not even interested in even bringing this person back. None of that shit. Some of y'all are just done. And that's as you should be. That's your own personal affair. Be done. But for the people that want this person back or want this person to come back, it's not going to happen until you approach them. They want you to approach them. They want, they're want still playing victim. Everything is your fault as far as this person is concerned. Concerned. Self-acceptance. There we go with that motherfucking light, y'all. I can't stand that light. Oh, my God. Why did I cut this thing on? I'm sorry. I'm going to cut it back off because it's not going to shut up. So I'll cut it on when, um, good morning, baby. How are you? Get the fuck out of here. Um, I'll cut it on when, um, uh, I'm done. Shit, I can't even think. We about to light, light up the set. I'm not about to fuck around with no lights today. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Huh? <laughs> Did y'all used to watch that? Anybody used to watch Pee Wee Herman and Pee Wee Playhouse? They can say whatever they want to say about Pee Wee. That was my nigga. Why this one come out wrong? It said to be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself. Hey. Oh, shit. Okay. Once you accept who you are, you don't have to struggle to be someone you are not. You are truly free to fully explore the talents and special gifts that you were born with. Use these special gifts and skills in service of other people and the world. Your purpose in life can only be flourished by your self-acceptance. Period. Period, Cancer. Accept your goddamn self. It don't matter who accepts you. Accept your goddamn self. Look, look, look at Buddha. Bitch, I'm fine. That's me. I ain't gonna lie, that's me. That's probably why that motherfucker told me, you need to sit your ass down somewhere. Bitch, never. I'm never going to sit my ass down somewhere. You silly rabbit. Silly goose. You always want some attention. No, bitch, you mad because you're not getting attention. <laughs> Don't let nobody sit you down somewhere. Because you're not giving them no attention. You getting all of the attention and you not getting it. Giving it. You getting the attention right now, Cancer. You accepting yourself. 
And with that being said, I'm about to burn the self-love candle. How about that? We're about to burn some self-love, self-acceptance. This. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'm about to put I love myself on here. I love myself, okay? Hey, I got this idea from Mystic. I ain't gonna lie. I had all of the candles, but when she said that she do this and this and that and that, I'm like, that's a good idea. Because I was about to do a whole fucking seance. <laughs> I was. I was about to do a whole damn seance. Get your ass away from me. Whatever it was. I mean... I know I be talking like I don't love my person. I didn't give a damn about him. No, that's not true. It's just we ran our course. And when you choose to let somebody lie on me, manipulate you, or act like you don't know me, then I'm going to act like I don't know you. So with that being said, or you bring war to my house, Baby, it's over. Not just war. If you just bring anything to my house that ain't real or genuine or mean me any good, it's time to go. And that's just it. Ain't that right, spirit and ancestors? Spirit and ancestors, we want you to bring forth the truth and clarity for my Cancer Leo Cups. Self-love for my Cancer Leo Cups. Honesty and awareness. To my Cancer Leo Cups as we move forward on this journey to reading fucking tarot. As we move forward on this tarot journey, I went back to an old deck I haven't used in a minute. One of my beginning decks. Hey y'all, how long I been on YouTube? I don't even know how long I been. On. Uh, it's a lot of things people up here saying about cancer in this YouTube world. They all saying, well, we're well, we going to see what's coming out. Because if that's what's coming out, that's what's coming out. It's all saying that somebody want us back. Somebody's going crazy over us. Somebody's stalking us. I mean, like, God damn. Who is this person? Go away already. Shit. But nobody's talking about the person who has the new love. Like, some of us have a new love. Somebody is shaking that energy. It's letting it burn. Let it burn, Cancer. Let that past person go. Uh, somebody, I don't remember who said it. Uh, they cited it. I'm going to cite it. But they basically said they didn't hold up their end of the deal, the contract. So, Spirit interrupted the contract and allowed you to have somebody to fuck else. You know what I'm saying? Good. If you got somebody else, come on now. See, you healed. You're healing, or you're still healing. Yeah, it says healing. You're still healing, Cancer. That's good. The pookie pookie, you still healing. Me too, and I am still healing from, because at the end of the day, no matter what this person did, you loved them. You, you seen forever with them. You wanted a happy ending with them. And it, it hurts you. And we put up big ass fronts, cancers. We go into our shell and we act like we untouchable. And the lie detector determined that was a lie, okay? Because you cry, you weak, you moan for this person, but this person has let the lower dignities consume them. And unless they're willing to pull their self up out of it, you, you can't allow them. You're going to be battling energies forever if you choose to keep this person in your in your space. You're not going to allow no happiness or well abundance or anything towards you if you keep this person in your space. You got to let them go. You got to let them go. I'm just telling you, you got to let it go. You got to let them go. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Good luck. Somebody might have a spirit animal. Somebody might have a cat who's protecting you from these spirits around you. And, and for some reason... uh. The cat that I got from the bull's brother is like my kitty cat son. <laughs> blessings. You're receiving blessings from this. You are. You're constantly receiving blessings from letting this energy go. Getting it out of your space. The, the uh, 
the spiritual realm sees what you're going through. They feel what you're going through. They, they, your spiritual protectors is there with you. I just said somebody could have even had a cat that passed on that's still standing around protecting you and watching you. Or multiple animals. Somebody could just be an animal lover. This don't have to just be a cat. This can be multiple animals. You probably you probably sit up here and feed a lot of animals. And they protect you more than you, you, you believe. And with that becomes blessings. A lot of blessings. Because look at me. I got three cats. And I couldn't turn the video on earlier. Man, Seven was all up here. He knocked everything down. Everything on the floor. He slept up here. Oh. Psychic abilities. Ooh, cancer. Ooh. What's your psychic ability, girl? What's your psychic ability? And for those who probably think these are the only crystals I got, you got to be bad shit. First of all, I'm a cancer, and I got crystals all over my goddamn house, okay? I got a crystal. My house is a crystal. I, I got to put this in my car. I'm going to get another piece of string and put this in my car. This is going to be the light that helps us out in the dark, especially during that blackout. Man, that shit was fucking terrible, y'all. But somebody has psychic abilities. Somebody is able to foresee. Somebody is probably getting messages through dreams. Somebody is getting messages through energy, motivations. And the reading I did last night, in the middle of the reading, it's like somebody had punched me in the stomach with something. And it's basically showing how your person might be feeling or what your person might be going through at this time. So really, really be cautious, be careful. This person is going through a lot. And I don't believe they have came out of this dark age that they're in. I think they're choosing to... I think they're choosing to to come after you, but in like a battle. I think they want to battle you because you hurt them. And right now, they're probably blaming a lot on you. They feel like your healing has caused them hurt, but they don't realize that they haven't, they haven't healed. So they caused their own hurt. They're still seeing you get good luck and blessings because while they're hurting and struggling. So they looking at it as you are the witch. You know, you put a spell on me so you can get riches. They making it seem like you sacrifice them. No, that's it. That they sacrifice themselves. You know what did they say in the movie? Are you a good witch or bad witch? Bitch, you're a bad witch. You fucked with they went off and fucked with a bad witch. And you foreseen that. You seen that. You felt that. And you tried to warn them. And they didn't want to listen to you. Because some of you probably was cheated on with a bad witch. Mind control. It, it's other people out here who have uh, spiritual gifts, but they use them for bad. It's other people out here connected to... What the fuck was that? Anyway, it's other people out here connected to bad dignities, and they use it for bad, or they're connected to spiritual... The spiritual realm and they use it and manipulate things to go their fucking way and a lot of it it, it went their way for a moment they thought they had it going on because you know what you do when you do bad you get bad okay you call on certain dignities they want they want they pay back for it okay you got what you wanted you didn't get it for as long as you wanted but you got it so somebody called on to your person wanted your person they don't say for why they called on to your person, wanted your person, they got them. And now that person gone again. Because your negative, negative ways, negative thinking, your magic, your dark magic, is not going to ever, in the history of magic, going to win against somebody that's being real, pure, and genuine. Okay? If you can't naturally get somebody, if y'all not in sync naturally, you're never, ever, 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 ever going to have that person. What they say now? Oh, God. You're not going to have them. I'm trying to tell you, don't do it. Don't do that shit. It is swords. You're you, you, you going to be sitting around playing victim. And, or like I said, your person think that you hurt them. Your person sitting up here playing victim like you did this to him. The reason why their life is fucked up is because of you. But no, honey, you fucked, you fucked up your own life. Mama said you fucked up your own life. <laughs> Clarity and truth for my cancer be okay. 
Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, baby. Ace of Cups. Sugar Pop Honey Bun. On top of the moon. Let's get into it. An Ace of Cups in a moon. Let's keep going now. Nice of, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Oh, you in love. So it's a lot of love going on around here. Did you fall in love, Cancer? Because I really believe that you were straight up looking for a new love and found a new love. Or you focus on your new love, happiness. You focus on you some new self-love. And you 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 could possibly... Let's, let's, let's keep going. Okay. Cancer Leo Cups energy. Can I ask about Cancer Leo? <laughs> Knight of Swords. You cut though right now. You telling the truth. Somebody coming forward with the truth. Or you're dealing with somebody that's constantly telling you the truth. Somebody telling you the truth about a lie. A secret. I have a source. A book. <laughs> and it's three cards, so I'm taking it. Okay, now wait a minute. Now y'all y'all gotta wait a minute, spirit. Now what's happening? And then we got a tower right here. We got the sun, okay, bro. And we had a queen of cups, spirits. Hey, look. This could be past, present, or future now, but th this this is some like confusing energy too because this Ace of Cups and this Moon right here, and that's where I'm getting confused at with this Ace of Cups and this Moon together. Somebody is looking for a new beginning in love. I really believe, and I hate to be the one that had to say this. I don't want to say it, but I have to bring forth the message. Somebody is lying to themselves about who they really want, who they really love. Somebody's thinking about somebody. Somebody's having dreams about somebody. Two, 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 two. Lord, it's right. Oh, my goodness, it's right. Somebody can't get somebody out their head. They're manifesting in their dreams. They're having illusions of this person. They see this person. What they call them, synchronicities. You've got all of that message going on. Somebody is heavenly in this energy with somebody. It's heavy. Somebody is not letting you go. Or you're not letting somebody the fuck go. They want it to be new with you. Or this could be you and this energy want new love and this person is just constantly dreaming, thinking, can't sleep about you. Damn. But it's still some type of truth that's going to come forward and, and someone's going to be hurt. Or I think the truth of the matter is that somebody is realizing it's over. The, the truth is killing this person. Because the, the Knight of Swords, somebody came in telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Somebody is standing their ground on it. They don't have no remorse for nothing they have to say because at the end of the day, it is the truth. They are over it. They are walking away. They're leaving something alone. And this person is going to end up very, very heartbroken about this situation. It's bittersweet. They have to let it go. They have to move on. They can't. They're depressed. They're going crazy about this situation. Oh, my God. Whew. Somebody can't seem to just let something go. Somebody probably went and got married. Somebody just don't want or somebody really believes that they can't come in and talk to you because you are done or you didn't move on somebody yes yeah, somebody is in this tower by themselves they having this tower by themselves they're up uh, what is that card at did, what, where did i see that card at the eight of swords that was at the bottom of the deck right that's what they're doing. They're in a tower playing victim. 
the bitches on fire and they just don't even these people everybody jumping out i don't think this person is jumping the fuck out somebody is probably still up in that tower because they don't want to face the reality of the situation this shit is over Somebody don't want to realize they came in playing a fucking mind game with this King of Swords energy. And it, in the end, they thought it was going to hurt you, but they got hurt. You don't have time for the mind games. That's what happened. Somebody played a fucking mind game. Somebody was secretive, came in playing a lot. They they faked. They faked like they wanted this uh, Ace of Cups with you. They was being secretive and manipulative, lying, thinking they was going to play with your ass. And they... uh. They played mind games, constant mind games with your ass cancer. And they thought you was going to be hurt, but they wound up being hurt in the fucking end. And it caused a tower with you all. It caused a big ass tower. And it caused you to walk into the sun and be happy and be and, and, and healthy and flourish and see things for what they it truly is. The sun is shining so fucking bright on you that you see everything. You see past this fucking illusion ass moon. Your sign, your sh sun shine right past their secrets and fucking lies be that's why you're psychic you see right through that shit your psychic abilities went right through that shit and guess what you took back all your fucking love and energy you took that shit back from them and that's why this person is sitting around going back shit and that's what that person get and i don't give a shit i didn't come here you're not gonna attain self-love feeling sorry repeatedly and accepting some bullshit somebody is giving you. You're not going to attain it. You're going to have to learn how to stand up to it and walk away from it no matter how much they cry, no matter how much they play victim, how, no matter how much they tower they self, no matter how much they say they love you and they want to be with you. If they keep showing you the same motherfucking shit, or some of them show you the same shit and put a little twist in it, you know what I'm saying? They'll show you something and then they show you the same shit then they bring you some flowers. No, bitch, it's done, okay? You can't keep falling for the okie dokie. You can't, you can't can't save them from themselves you cannot save nobody from spirit and that's just on god <laughs> you can't save nobody from spirit but your damn self because when when spirit come after you for what you have done if you have your dumb ass in the way of what coming after somebody for what spirit done you is not gonna have this baby you're not gonna have this happiness in your life that shit gonna be in reverse and I'm not getting in the way of what spirit is done. Because guess what? I'm accepting myself right now. By me accepting myself right now, accepting myself right now, I'm an ace of cups of love with my motherfucking self. You're, you're bringing in that fucking energy you need. You bringing in that person that you need. You bringing in somebody who accepts you for who you is. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, okay now. Come on now. Come on now. Ooh. You just, I know you scared that the person is gone away. That's what that song to me is trying to say. She's, she's scared the person is gone away because this is the person she loves and who she put her worth, her, you know, put her energy into. And she think he or she is gone. And sometimes they are gone. And we have to accept that these people are gone. We have to love ourselves and accept ourselves to know to let them go. Come on now, Cancer. Let them go. Clarity and truth for my Cancer Leo Cup spirit. What's going on with my Cancer Leo Cup and its energy? Did something slip? What's going on with Cancer Leo Cup and its energy? Night of Wands. Hmm. <laughs> Let me shut up. I'm not going to say nothing right now. Because <laughs> I'm really on some stupid shit. I'm on some old laughing at the ass shit. But I wish this person the best. But Cancer, it looks like you left the building. A lot of us have left the building. So... You two streets is right. We done left the building, y'all. This person tried to come in and win at all costs. They thought they was going to get that new start with you and only to find out that it was blocked. They were blocked 
they probably blocked them any way of you possible. They probably thought they was going to come in with their little man dingo, swing it all on you. It's going to be passionate and hot and sweet. And see, they still was a night, though. And they was going to take the fuck off. They didn't get the Ace of Cups. You blocked them. You blocked them every way possible. And that person probably sick about that now. Put in truth for my cancer Leo Cups, please. Spirit and ancestor. More authority and truth. Ooh, shit. Come on through now. They go to chariot. See, that go to moon. You got the fuck out of here when you wound up. This person was lying. Your own energy. You embodied your own energy. You got out of there so motherfucking fast. Cancer, you almost crashed. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Or, or y'all want to know the other story that came here? This person realized they couldn't come in on this motherfucking horse, so they tried to act like they leveled up, and they tried to come in on the chariot and still got blocked. Bitch, get the fuck out of here with your stupid ass. <laughs> but no, you you found out this person is a whole whole cap. And you got the fuck out of there so fast. <laughs> look at the goddamn fish. The fish look like they drowning. They get the fuck out of here. I don't want nothing to do with this whole situation. Look, you got the fuck out of here. And guess what you ran into it on the way there? A ten of cups. <laughs> Y'all ass ran dead into a ten of cups. <laughs> Go on, girl. Go on here, motherfucker. Level up. Here go this Eight of Cups energy in reverse. Somebody refused to walk away. Somebody refused to let some type of demonicness go. Somebody refused to let your ass go. This person that's in this bitter ass five of five of swords energy, they refusing to let go. They can't it hurts so bad they can't let go. Damn, poor baby. Poor sugar. It hurt them so bad they couldn't even let it go. What's up? Who what they couldn't let go, spirit? <laughs> Wait, what's this tower for Cancer Leo Cups? What was the tower? Page Swords. What the fuck you mean? Oh, you know what? Somebody said some fucked up bad shit that cost a tower. Somebody came in talking stupid at the Saturday face and cost a tower. Somebody sent the crazy ass message. Somebody, something went down. It cost a tower. Ooh, the truth. The truth set somebody free. Mm. That's probably why they feel like a dunk on a donkey on a log. You big dummy. You big dummy. Why did you say that stupid shit? So, whoever this person is, with this sword of energy is playing a lot of mind games, though. Because you got the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Somebody is constantly playing fucking games. Mental games. And, Cancer, that's what we don't do. Either you about to be for real, you can get the fuck out. Eight of Coins. Oh, damn. Eight of Coins look different. It look like you're working on something. Yeah, you're working on your mastering your craft. Yeah, look at her. She's making all of her pinnacles by any means necessary. And she's happy and content doing it. Somebody's probably starting a business. Somebody got a business. Somebody's so focused on their stuff. They doing this. You might need some rest now, Cancer. But you so focused on getting things together and becoming great that you're, you're, you're wearing yourself out a little bit. But you're, you're getting there by any means necessary. And you probably burying your hurt. You could be burying your hurt a lot, too. Let, let that out. Like, go somewhere in the corner and cry. Like, uh, <laughs> did y'all see? Did y'all see? What was that damn movie? Suicide Squad. The rainbow nigga that had all the rainbow shit flying out of his hat. Ugh, that shit made me throw up every time I think about it. But, that's what that seemed like to me. You gotta release the rainbows. Five of cups. Oh yeah, somebody fucked up, y'all. Somebody is really, really hurt. Five of swords and the five of cups. It's some hurt going on in here. It's a lot of fucking hurt. Okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all, 
this person is more hurt than I thought. Oops. This a hurt ass motherfucker, okay? Or you hurt. Y'all, everybody hurt. I'm just about to say, everybody hurt in this situation, Cancer. This this wasn't good for nobody. This is a bunch of hurt. That you worked on something so hard and it didn't turn out to be nothing. It hurt you to take away your love from this person because that's how much you love them. You love them so much to take away your hurt, it hurt you. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. That just drained me saying it. Damn, I need a burger. Damn. But you, you worked on something that didn't work on you. Clarity and truth. Oh, I'm supposed to get out a whole nother deck now, y'all. Why y'all got me doing this? It's okay, though. It's okay. He was gone anyway. Okay, they was gone any old way. It was nothing you could do. You did what you could. You, you, you. You, you walk the line. Yeah, you, you, you said you was coming home last night. You, you came home when I was asleep. And that was some bullshit. So you was on some fuck shit. I'm just trying to make sure you ain't went away. So you find out the person went away. Damn, y'all. That's all I can say is damn. So, what happened? Well, I want to fuck you know, like what the stupid motherfucker do. Somebody said some slick ass shit that crossed the tower, and that must have been some slick ass motherfucking shit. Or you got a message from somebody else who told, told you some slick ass shit, and you just walked away forever. But this person is not letting you to fuck go, Cancer. They not letting this situation go. They trying to find a way to work on it. And they could possibly be re Ooh. they possibly could be realizing that you not I think this person realized that you you done had a happy ending somewhere else. And be careful, because this person could try to come fuck it up. Magician, yeah, this person is manifesting. You're manifesting. That's what's happening right here. I had the first card that came out was a magician. My word. Oh, come on out then. Tell me the story. Knight of Pentacles. Come on, that little bitty bag coming in. Somebody could be coming in with a little offer for you. An offer of peace. Some type of offer of wealth. Some 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 more pinnacles about to show up in your bank account. I don't know. You might get a check in the mail. God damn it. I got forty dollars in the mail. I don't know what the fuck. Who the fuck? Then they gonna say a letter gonna come after this telling you where the forty dollars came from. I'm like, okay, I ain't complaining. Send another one. Hit Ace of Cups at the bottom. Somebody is is gone. All this five swords energy. Somebody has left this situation. Somebody has reached the ten of cups with somebody and they're not interested in this energy anymore. Somebody is not turning back. Somebody is not looking back. Somebody don't care don't, what nobody has to say. They don't have to work on shit no more. They over it. Damn. Spirit and truth. Spirit and truth. For my cancer Leo Cup. Spirit and truth. Damn. They fly. Fly in. Okay. Flying and they saying shit. Ooh. For the Ace of Swords. I go full. Ace of Swords in reverse. This the king of wands, tickle the king of cups. They all came out. Oh, somebody hot commodity. Hey, man, another tower. Oh, generation wealthy is temper. Oh, cancer. But this is what came out and had something to say. The, the ace of swords. So, I feel like you're supposed to be telling somebody something you're not. Who you supposed to be telling something to? Because all these cards that flew out, baby, you got options. You got options, and I think you chose, and you not telling the other people. Uh-uh, don't ghost nobody, Cancer. Don't ghost nobody. Oh, okay. You 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 stressed out. You stressed out, Cancer. You got to make a decision. You in your head, or somebody is strongly in their head about you. But you are stressed the fuck out about this decision, this truth you have to tell somebody. You don't know how to come forth with that truth. God damn, why we gotta have it so fucking hard? We always gotta be the ones that be the ooh, 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 wait a minute now. Hold on. That's the devil.
Okay, I'm getting something else here now, y'all. Somebody don't want you to know the truth about something they're attached to. Or you're still attached to something that don't mean you no good, Cancer. Somebody is going crazy, hoping you don't find this out. Find out that they're attached to some type of devil still. Somebody don't want this to come out. They do not want that to come out because that, that is a source that's a big ass motherfucking thing. That's something that'll kill us all. Clarify this devil for me. Oh shit, everything came out. Knight of Wands came out. Seven of Pentacles came out. And Justice. Ooh, somebody don't want this to come out, y'all. Clarify this devil for me, please. Give your ancestors for my cancer. Ooh, it's something you don't know, Cancer. That's the High Priestess in reverse. This is something you do not know that's about to be big. Wow. Or, no, I don't feel nothing else but this. It's something big about to come out and you don't know it, Cancer. It might, it might, his little fool came back out again. Woo, baby. Here go the six of pentacles, seven of pentacles again. Wait, two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, nine pentacles. Oh, hold on. Cancer, I don't know what this secret is. I wish you knew. I wish, I hope it don't hurt you. I hope it don't, I, I don't know, y'all. This is some sad shit right here. This secret, it seems very sad. Or, or you know what the devil of this all could be? The secret that's stressing you out is you not accepting the fact that this person is your devil energy. Or your person can actually have some type of devil energy attached to them and they, they're not accepting it or they're unaware that this person that's attached to them is a devil energy. Somebody could be having habits. I really, honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is a sexual energy. Somebody is, and then look at this fool. Somebody, somebody is bi. Somebody is messing around with men and women. Somebody is hiding their sexuality. That's what this is to me. This is the feeling that I'm getting. Because right now, the biggest secret, what's the biggest secret that somebody can hold from somebody? And if, if, if that's what your sexual preference is, it's best you tell somebody that. And you know what? Well, all of this fell on top of a fucking tower, a page of swords, some type of truth message coming in, uh, the devil, and then the high priestess? Come on. Somebody is hiding a major fucking secret. This is a major... Ooh, baby. Yes. Bring the bread. Somebody hiding a major secret cancer. This is a major fucking secret. Okay, how is Cancer gonna take this secret to these spirit? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords come back out again. This 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 message is coming out no matter what. No matter who try to stop it, the message is coming. Somebody's coming to tell it. Somebody could be coming to tell it just to hurt you. It, some it could actually be a fucking lie. Somebody could be coming to play mind games with you. More mind games with you. But this 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 message is coming no matter what. And you're not even aware of how it's about to get to you. Ooh, Will of Fortune. Did y'all see that? The fucking Will of Fortune that came out. That's the only thing that came out. After this nine of swords, the Will of Fortune that came out. Somebody probably thinking after this message, after this secret, after this exposure, after this truth. Or they think after they play this game, they're going to be able to start a new cycle with you. And I doubt that. Very seriously. Because the fool and the damn nine of pentacles is you You didn't walk away from some situations. You are over it. You're focusing on your new beginning. But to me, this fool is somebody out here being a hot ass mess. 
somebody is sexually out here wilding. This person probably refused to tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's what the Ace of Spades source can be also. Somebody refusing to tell you the truth about situations. <sighs> or they want to tell you the truth and they're in their head about telling you the truth. Somebody has a sexual problem here. A, a very serious sexual problem. Sexual addiction. Something going on with somebody sexually. But with this high priestess, I'm not thinking that you don't know it now. Because you got psychic abilities, cancers, and usually most cancers do. And it's a lot of uh, cancer tarot readers out here. I know that we are very, very intuitive. But I don't think it's that you don't know. I think this person thinks that you don't know. Ooh. I think this person thinks that you don't know their secret sexuality. And that's why they coming in to probably tell the truth or you're going to receive this truth. And they think they're going to have this 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 uh will of fortune with you but you're gonna you're already having your own will of fortune because you already know the truth you already having good karma because you already know the truth hmm. clarify this uh will of fortune let's, let's see what this will of fortune is even about say the ancestors can clarify will of fortune will of fortune and it say page of swords. Okay. So, you received Will of Fortune because people was hiding messages from you. People wasn't telling you the truth. People was playing mind games with you. People was trying to psych you out of being yourself. Psych you out of shit. So, you received the good fortune from it. Or the good fortune could be that this person wind up not knowing shit about your ass. You big dummy. The, the, or the Will of Fortune basically is you want to know what it is. This person don't have access to you. They cannot communicate with you. They cannot talk to you. You're good on this person. Ah, uh -huh. you should have been real. Ah, uh -huh. you should have kept it real. Let's get some uh, goddess oracle out here for you guys. Goddess oracle for my cancer Leo. But please get some these cards. Thank you now. Okay. What's my goddess oracle for my cancer Leo cup, please, spirit? Goddess oracle for my cancer Leo cup. Ooh, who is she? Boldness. Ooh, I love it. I just love it. And my at at the bottom. Goddess oracle for my cancer Leo cup, spirit. More goddess oracle. They coming out, they coming out, they coming out, they coming, they coming out, they coming out, they coming out, they coming. Hey. Boldness though. I don't ever even see, but I didn't go through this whole deck. I wanted to be shot when the car flew out. Or, come on, now listen here. God damn shit. You want to shuffle you some more or something? More goddess oracle for my cancer Leo cult, please, spirit. Can I have more goddess oracle? Just won't let me be great. Can I have more goddess oracle, spirit? Is there another one? I think it's just, that just might be it. The bonus might tell the whole story. So let's read what bonus got to say. Yeah, that's it. Bonus set the standard. Freya, there she go, Freya, boldness, oh, her origin is Norris, Norris, the fuck is the Norris, playful goddess of love and ruler over war and death, woo, Freya appears before you to encourage you to boldly go forth. Now is not the time to play small. Step into your power. Embrace your desires. And take swift action to manifest them fully in your life. Freya's got your back, bitch. Okay. Freya got you. It ain't no time to play no games, okay, with these small people. Small minds, okay. Um, people who think they can actually beat spirit, okay. Let them stay down there and try to beat spirit. Spirit, okay, I gotta read this again. Playful goddess of love and ruler over war and death. Ooh, goodness, that bitch is crucial. Okay, Freya appear 
years before you to encourage you to boldly go forth, okay? That's where all this sore energy out here. Fuck everybody. Fuck the mind game. State your fucking truth, okay? Now is not the time to play small. We playing big. What did I say? Don't slip up, forget God. I'm coming for that number one spot. Hey. Embrace your desires, bitch. Embrace who you want, nigga. Okay? Who is it you want? Embrace it. Go after her. Period. Stop playing around. Ask her out on the deck. Woo the hell out of her. But make sure you looking through her. And take swift action to manifest them fully in your life. Period. Summon. Bring forth everything that you want. Ask the ancestors. Talk to the fucking ethers. Go play in the dog on dirt. People can think you crazy. Go hug them damn trees. I don't care what nobody say. Go hug trees. Fred's got your back. Now, that's a way to capitalize on this. And nobody else needed to go with this because this was just all you needed. You got your self-acceptance and now you go into this world bold as hell. Ooh, she just made me a messy bitch. Why did she have to come out like that? I'm so sorry. She just made me messy, y'all. So anyway, I miss you guys. I'm glad you all are back. We're doing self-love all day. Okay, we love ourselves. And that's what this is all about. So we love ourselves. I'm going to do a Leo reading. I promised somebody a Leo reading. And, um, you know, they are other halves. So we got to make sure Leo, okay. So the last time I did Leo, I damn near swore never to do Leo again. But, you know, Leo is our other half. So it could be a part of us or somebody that's having that Leo. Uh, the Leo part is dominating and it's controlling and it's not going good or it's going great. And we just, we just festering. But right now, we need Leo to love ourselves, and I'll be back in a minute to give you the Leo reading. So, I love y'all. I see.